Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel, it's Chelsea, and today I'm so, so excited for this video because first, it's a collaboration, but even more importantly, it's for a friend. You guys, we are gonna be talking about Mel Thompson's beautiful palette that she created with Sydney Grace. It is called Tiny Marvel, so this collaboration is called the Tiny Marvel Mavens, and we're so excited to just honor Mel and celebrate Mel with this amazing palette that she created. I hope that you all have already gone and saw her video. I was so excited for her. Even more honored and humbled that she even asked me to review it for her. And thank you so much, Mel, for even sending this to me. I'm so appreciative of it. I'm so grateful for it. I'm so happy for you, Mel. I mean, it's, it's, it's just amazing to see people that you really know and enjoy um, and love do things that they're so happy about, that they've worked so hard for. So I am so excited to be doing this with you all. And I can't wait for you all to see these other amazing looks that we are creating. So let me tell you who I'm collaborating with. I am collaborating with Lisa J, owner of BK Beauty, but also one of the sweetest people that I have yet to meet on this platform. Then I got my girl, Kelsey Brianna J. You guys know and love her. I mean, what else do I say about my Kelsey girl? That's my girl. And then I also have Michelle Wong. I mean, come on, Michelle Wong. She gives us all the luxury. She keeps us abreast on all the new things. And then we have the bendy, the twisty, the kinky sweat, the Alicia, my Alicia. So, so, so happy to be working with her again. And so we decided to come up with 10 different looks for you guys. So we each decided to come up with two eye looks and we broke up the eyeshadow palette into quads so that we could give you guys a really good a show of the palette, but also show the diversity of the palette and show you all all of the beautiful looks that you can create with the palette. So I am so excited to be working with these ladies again. Definitely go and check out their channels. I will have them listed down below. Go and show them some love. If you haven't subscribed to them, go ahead and take care of that. Subscribe to them. They are all ladies that I truly watch and love here on this platform. But before we get into this video, you guys already know, I have to say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend some time with me. If this is your first time here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel and join the Glam Girl Squad. And if you are a returning subscriber, well, thank you so much for coming back. I'm so appreciative of each and every one of you and for supporting my channel with all of your likes and your comments. They all really do mean a lot to me. So let's get into this video. Here is the outside cartridge of the palette. It is called Tiny Marvels and the actual packaging of the palette is the same. So it does match the cartridge packaging. This is going to be made out of cardboard and this is a magnetic closure. We open up the palette to the beautiful colors that she chose for this palette. And Mel said that of course, this is a palette that she wanted to create that really represented her. So if you don't know anything about Mel Thompson, which I don't know how you don't know, but if you don't know, it's okay. I'm gonna tell you. Mel Thompson loves critters. Hits tiny marbles. She also has a lot of tattoos with some of these same critters on her body. And so the inspiration for this palette, the color scheme and everything like that, is primarily coming from one of her tattoos. She has one of a praying mantis. And she said the color scheme of that tattoo, along with, um, I think it's a beetle on her foot, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, those two tattoos really inspired the colors of the palette. She really wanted something to represent her and what she loves. She loves tattoos, she loves critters. And then when you open up the palette and you look at the names of each one of these shades, each one of these shades are going to be named after a critter or be inspired by one. So I love the names. We've got Fire Buds, Walking Stick, Mantis, the shade BB, which is this beautiful yellow shade. It does represent a bee, but it also represents Kelsey Brianna J. So they are best friends. And she said that is a nickname that they use for each other. But yes, I love these shades in the palette because although there are shades that have pops of color, you still have neutral shades. And this is a palette that you could use for everyday looks. It's not overly bright. It's not overly neutral. I think it's a really good mix of colors here. She's got matte, she has shimmers. So I'm going to be working with, like I said, two quads within the palette. So the first quad that I'm gonna be working with will be Meadowhawk Love Bug 
bugaboo and spider although i hate spiders but i really enjoyed this quad here so and then i had to use the shade scarab so scarab is actually the only shade that's already in the sydney grace collection um, Mel said that this shade normally is called Red Chameleon, but she thought it was the perfect representation of a beetle's exoskeleton. So that's why this particular shade is in the palette. So I'll be doing for my second look, Scarab, Love Bug, Spider, and Bugaboo. So I'm definitely going to try to show you two very different looks, even though I'm working with similar shades in both of the quads, but I'm going to do my best to show you the differences between them and how you can pair the looks together to get two totally two different looks. So let's bring ourselves in a little closer and get on with these looks. Let's start off with the shade Love Bug right here. And I'm going in with a BK Beauty 202 brush. Start just kind of packing this into the crease, using this as both the transition color and the crease color. And I did prime my eyes with the ABH primer. taking my BK Beauty 201 brush and this is a clean brush and just blending out the edges of the shadow. Going in now with the shade called Bugaboo and same brush, BK Beauty 202 brush. And let us start to add this right here toward the outer edge of the eye, but not completely on the outer edge of the eye. And we're gonna blend this up to the crease and then blend it into the crease, but keeping it toward the outer crease area of the eye. I don't wanna bring it too far in. Going now in with the shade called Spider and using my refer number 15 brush. And we are going to fill in this space right here along the outer edge of the eye. And initially, I'm gonna pack that shade here. And then once I pack it there, I want to kind of start to flick it out so that we can essentially create a more winged effect for this look. On to Metahawk, so excited for the shade right here. Going in with my Sonya G Builder Pro brush and we're gonna go in with that shade called Meadowhawk. So we're going to just start packing it onto the lid like so. Oh, it is just as pretty as I thought it would be. Going back in with the shade called Spider and my BK Beauty 204 brush and we're gonna start working on the lower lash line concentrating that shade right on the outer edge of the eye only. Going in with the shade called Bugaboo, same brush, and bringing that toward the middle portion of the lower lash line. Going in with same brush and the shade Meadowhawk, and we're gonna wrap that along the inner portion of the lower lash line. Going in with my BK Beauty 207 brush and the shade Love Bug that we used in the crease as the transition. And just smoking that along the lower lash line to blend the shades Bugaboo and Spider a little bit more, just to kind of smoke it out and diffuse the shades a bit. So taking a little bit of that shade called Love Bug with my BK Beauty 201 brush and just further blending out the edges of this look. On to the next eye. So let's go in with Spider. Let's start off with Spider. Taking my Sonya G Crease Pro brush, let's start building up this shade along the outer edge of the eye, but diffusing it as we build it. Going in with my BK Beauty 208 brush, and I wanna use the shade Spider, kind of like a liner. I wanna make sure this whole area right here is just packed with the shade Spider. So I love how detailed this brush is because I can really get in there and make sure all of my fine lines on my lids are filled with shadow. Taking a Sonya G Builder Pro brush, and going in with the shade called Scarab right here. 
so excited to use this shadow. I just saw it. I love shades like this that just this duochrome red green type of color. It's just I almost want to cover my whole lid with this shade. Ooh, going in with my BK Beauty T04 brush and going back in with the shade Bugaboo. Take this along the lower lash line and we're going to bring this all the way across the lower lash line and I really want to kind of intensify this lower lash line so I'm going to bring this down a little bit further. My BK Beauty 207 brush going in with the shade Love Bug and we're going to smoke out the lower lash line with this color just to further blend it out. Going in with my No Name brush in the shade Scarab. And let's just add a little bit right here. Just a smidge. And then taking my Refer Zero One brush and just blending out the edges of this look so everything is as blended as it can be. Okay, so I'm going to finish off my eyes, finish off my brows, come back, and I'll give you my final thoughts on this palette. So guys, these are the finished looks. And let me just say, Mel, you did it with this palette. First of all, the shadows blended out so well, the matte shades in particular. I was really impressed how well they blended out together. And I've told you all before in previous videos, I definitely have folds and creases all within my eyes. And depending on the formula of a matte shade, sometimes it is harder for me to make sure that that shadow is getting into all of my fine lines and, you know, making sure that I don't have any like splotchy areas along my eyelids. And I really enjoyed how these matte shades blended well into those areas, so especially the shade Spider. And then the shimmers, I mean, do I even have to say anything about these shimmers? I, I, I grit it. I just stuck with Scarab and Metal Hog, but they are so pretty. I love the duochrome effect of Scarab. It is just stunning. And then this shade Metal Hog, once again, I said I knew I wanted it on my eyelid when I saw it. And I'm loving like this pinky peachy golden shift to it they are beautiful totally impressed with the formula from this brand i think mel picked beautiful shades to complement not only something that she loves and the shades that she enjoys but she really did a really great job on picking comprehensive shades that will work together i cannot wait to delve into the palette some more because when i was playing with scarab i gotta get mantis on my eyelid like i have to get it on my eyelid and i want to put these two together i want to put bb and mantis together like you're going to be seeing this palette more often because i definitely want to create more looks with this and it's a really great palette so i didn't give y'all any details about the palette <laughs> i just wanted to get into the looks but this palette will be available for purchase this Friday, August the 7th, tomorrow, it's going to go on sale at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It does retail for $52, and you can use Mel's discount code PUFFINSY15 to save a little bit of money on the palette. And I think that's amazing. So I'm so excited to have created these two eye looks for you all. I love the way that they look. I cannot just say any more about it. I'm just so excited and happy for Mel. Make sure that you go ahead and support Mel support this particular creation that she made because she created it with love based on the things that she loves based on the shades that she loves her tattoo artist created her cover for the palette which i think is amazing it really is just mel in a palette <laughs> So yes, I will have her reveal video linked down below. So if you haven't gone and checked that out, you can do that. Once again, definitely check out the other four ladies that I'm collaborating with. You do not want to miss their looks that they have created. I know they're going to be amazing. Go to their pages. Let them know that I sent you there. If you have not subscribed to them, go ahead and do that. And guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And I really hope to see you in my very next video.
बाय गाइस